Grace and peace be unto you from God who loves us as our Father and a Mother, and Jesus Christ, our resurrected, our risen, our reigning, returning Redeemer. I'm here today with some of the leadership of our church family, the chairperson of our diaconate, Deacon Charles Monterio Jr., and our church business administrator, Deacon Lolita Humans, to share with you a little bit about where we are as a church family and where we sense God is calling us to go in the days that await us. As it should be expected, our church council continues to meet during this pandemic. The leaders who you've elected continue to serve alongside myself to prayerfully discern and govern and guide our church family through these uncharted waters, especially as we consider when it is appropriate and wise to reopen the doors of our church and gather again in this, our sacred space. As some of you may know, the governor of Virginia has unveiled a plan to reopen the state. And some of that includes lifting the restrictions of church and worship. As of a few weekends ago, it was lawful for churches to meet with more than 10 people in their sacred space. And that's an exciting piece of information. Trust me, no one wants to be back in corporate worship more than I do. I haven't seen some of you since sabbatical began back at the end of 2019, and my heart longs to be in worship again. But right now, we don't discern that it's safe or wise to do so. So I want you to know that as of this date, right now we are prepared to remain with online and virtual worship and ministry activities at least until July 5th, 2020. That date will probably be extended, but as of right now, we are prepared to continue on online and virtual through July the 5th of 2020. As council and as deacons, it is our job and responsibility to pray for you, our members, and to do everything in our power to protect you. While returning to this sanctuary and overflow is possible, we do not believe it's wise to do so. We have been guided and influenced by the teachings of Paul to the church in Corinth. He says, all things that are lawful are not expedient. Everything you can do isn't the wise thing to do. And so while other churches are opening their doors, we do not believe it's wise for us, Alfred Street, to do so. Your safety is our utmost concern, and we are doing everything to protect that. Although our buildings are closed, the work, the mission, and the ministry of Alfred Street Baptist Church still continues. And God has given us new and amazing new tools by which to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world and to continue to serve our members, our guests, and our community. We are praying for God's covering over you and your household. We are praying and we are preparing. We are hiring a specialist in public health and safety that will advise us on the latest developments from the World Health Organization, the CDC, local government, and our school systems. We want you to be confident that the Alfred Street you are returning to is safer than the one that you left. We want to make you confident that we will not only meet, but surpass the latest safety measures when you come through the doors of Alfred Street again. So we're gonna ask you to do a few things as we continue to navigate and find our way through this pandemic, continuing to be a family of faith, worshiping God and waiting on God's signal and timing to return. Number one, please stay safe and sheltered. Please don't rush back out. Let's wait the wave out and see what happens. Let's follow the science. Let's look at the data. Let's be wise as we walk by faith. Number two, would you continue to pray for your church leadership that we would hear clearly the voice of God and make decisions that are in the best interest of our church, our members, and our community. In the meantime, I'm asking you to continue to engage and the multitude of online and virtual worship and ministry opportunities we have that are being a blessing to the entire World Wide Web. And then finally, the survey is gonna be emailed to you within this upcoming week. It's gonna take only a few moments to answer 10 questions. And what will take you a short amount of time will go a long way in helping us discern where your head and where your heart is about reopening the doors of the church that we might be sensitive to and compassionate to the needs and the cares of our members. Please fill that survey out, get it back to us within a timely manner, 
so that we can discern what we believe God is calling us to do as we listen to the voice of our membership. I'm Pastor Wesley, and on behalf of Deacon Monterio, Deacon Humans, we thank you. Be prayerful, be safe, and we'll see you back here when it's wise and safe to do so.